YouTube, I am back after like so long of not doing a tutorial. Everything's got so mental this year. Um, work's been crazy. I have, I've got a new phone. The microphone doesn't work, so I've not been able to record on my phone. So I'm on my computer at the minute. Literally, everything's just like stopped me from being able to do a tutorial. Um, it was like, hang on, I'll get it up on my phone. Because I was looking how long it had been since I last did a tutorial. And the last one I did was Last Rites by Black Bell Brides four months ago. Um, yeah, a lot has changed since then. That's why I've, I've got a tutorial lined up. I'm just explaining a few things. Um, I'm now 26 mil in my ears, boys. Sick. Um, I've had a couple of new guitars. Um, one I'm going to be using today for this tutorial. Uh, and I crashed my motorbike, so yeah, man. Um, open the window. So we're going to be looking at a Crania dissolution and a discordant system today on my new LTD M17 seven string. Um, I'm in the workings of a kind of like beat down post hardcore band kind of thing. Uh, I needed a seven string, so I managed to pick this baby up for forty quid. Plays absolutely amazingly. Um, I did have the Stephen Carpenter seven string. Um, didn't get on with that as well as, as I do with this one. This one's got a lot of weight to it. The other one was light, but this one's quite heavy. Um, so yeah, dissolution in a discordant system. If you don't know, it's, uh, you've probably heard the breakdown. It's where the, uh, the vocalist screams, send them to the slaughterhouse, and then does that fat ass pig squeal. And it's just the, it's just one of the dirtiest breakdowns you could ever listen to. Um, I was actually going to do a guitar tutor, um, a guitar cover on Facebook the other day, but I've got the guitarist on Facebook, so I was like, nah, nah, because he'll be commenting, oh, you're playing that wrong, I'm joking. But yeah, it's a really simple song to play, to be honest. There's only three main riffs that you need. Um, you tune in, you're in drop A, um, so if you've got a seven string, just that low B on your top, just drop that down to A. Um, <coughs> so it's A, E, A, D, G, B, and E. Okay. Um, so the, uh, the various, there's two verse riffs that you need. Sorry, there's actually four riffs that you need for this song, but the two main ones that you'll be playing are uh, these ones. That's one of them, really simple, and the other one is this. Even my drummer friend can play this. Okay, you might notice I've taken a lot of gain off my amp as well, because looking back that preset was awful man, I don't know what was going through my head. So we're now running through an EL34 uh, valve, for about a 4 on gain, resonance on 6 and presence on about 4.5. So we've got a nice, uh, nice uh, gritty tone kind of thing, but sounds, sounds beefy. <laughs> Right, so I'll take you through those two riffs, then we'll hit the the fast riff, the most difficult one to play because it's string skipping, um, and then we'll we'll hit the breakdown. So yeah, so that first one we're going to be just using the top two strings. Obviously, it's a seven string; they're the only two strings you really need. I'm joking. Look at John Petrucci. Um, so we're going to go three, four, three, two. Okay, do that three times. Then on the fourth time, just go three, four. So. Then we're going to hit the first fret of the E string, second string down, and then on the air, and just hit that. 
So we got a nice power chord there, so. Okay, bit of speed. Same thing again. Twice. So just three, four, three, two. Twice. Four, three, two, three. Just. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Fortunately, the last, well, unfortunately, the last guitar I covered that uh, tutorial I did was the uh, last right, it's like I said, on my Jake Pitts. You can't really see the fret marks on them because my fingers are covering them, but, you know, you got you. So yeah, so that first riff. Okay. Let me get the lyrics up so I know which ones. Which riffs start where? Because I get really fucking confused. Um, yeah, I've got an iPhone now. My cheeky dead by daylight case. If you want to play PlayStation, we just hit me up. Two can ratty sixteen. I'll put that in the uh, in the description box. Um, play some Dead by Daylight. Bit of FIFA. Uh, that's all I really play. Started Sniper Elite four and all. That was one of the three games. That's a pretty sick game. Um, but yeah, man, hit me up. Such a long song title. Right. <coughs> so, your first riff, the um, vocalist comes in with a two neglect into fuck. Right. Okay. Um, and that goes through to agreements to your fellow man. So, agreements to your fellow man. I mean, it hits the old little piggy. You hear it, it gets a bit more bouncy. Old little piggy, that shit. I think this song just defines slam so well. Okay, so I'll take you through that riff. Like I said, it's really simple. Even my fucking drummer friend can play it, and he's hopeless. He's playing bass now as well, which is pretty dope. So we're gonna go three times on the open, then one open again. Not twice on the open. Right. Okay. Then we just go two, one. Four, three. All right, so there's two ones there after that two one. Okay. Just get that down. We'll just keep playing that for a bit. Keep playing that back if you haven't got it yet. And we'll play the whole thing with the top two strings. It's such a fun song to play. Okay, so once you've played that first part, back into it. But then, last two notes, instead of being four and three, we're going to play. Six and five, but we're also going to add on the A string. So when you're playing the six, we're going to hit nine on the A. Okay. Slide it down on the fret. So we got five and then eight with your pinky. Okay. So that, that bit sounds like this. Okay. Sounds a bit evil. That's what you need for the seven string. You need to sound evil. Okay. So we'll play that whole riff. Like I said, it's, it's really simple. Okay, I'll just keep playing that. Pause the video or whatever. I know the shrum's a bit, the shrum's a bit weird. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And yeah, so that, that's the main two riffs that you play. You you can hear them distinctly in the song, so you just have to keep listening out of when to change you, your riffs. You know, just play bit by bit and just pieces together kind of thing. That's what I did anyway. I learned the song really quick. But that's because there's hardly anything to it. Um, but that makes it a bit better. Um, so the fast riff that I mentioned, um, 
The fast rope that I mentioned is when the song hits the maiming and raping part. I'll just take you through the lyrics there, see. Um, uh, maiming and raping, pillaging and fucking manufactured devastation. Don't be so pompous, causing a rackets for a massive slave and all little bigger. Did you really think you like hand a little bigger disillusion in your authority? You know, all that bit. You'll hear it. This is the riff. Forgive me if I fuck up. Like I said, it's very fast, it's string skipping, and I'm only just getting used to the same string again. So the thickness is, is a lot different, other than that. So this, this is it. Okay, it does change up, I just remember it changed three times. Well, there's that one. It changes after it, you play that twice, not much though. And it changes towards the end as well. No, it doesn't, it don't always change, yeah, it's long with the three never mind. So that one, we're going to go 4, 7 on the top string. Okay, then hit 4 on the A. So get that octave. Okay, so. Four times each set as well, so we'll call that one set. <coughs> Excuse me. Next set, we're going to move up it up frets. We're doing five, eight, and five on the air. Okay. I hate doing string skips slow. And we're going to go back down to four and seven. Then we're going to hit one, four, and yeah, one on the air. That plays twice. Alright, we'll go through that. Okay, this is where it changes. now as well. It's been, a, it's been a weird year. So we're going to go four. We're just going to do that. All right. So keep keeping within that same set that we're playing. The notes don't change apart from the last bit. But we'll get to that. We'll get to it. Okay. Try and explain it. I'm probably going to fuck up because I can't explain for shit. So we're going to go four on the air, four seven, and then back to four on the air. So you're playing four on the air three times. And then you're going to jump up real quick to the 5 and 8. Okay. I'll play it slowly, see if you can pick it up and figure it out, alright? Then we're going to go down to 1. 4. And this last bit, we're going to go up, open A. Then open on the top string and then 3. Went back to open air. Okay, so fast it sounds like. Okay, like so, I'll play it slow, see if you pick it up, just keep going back and watching it. I kind of 
few times where I hate playing string stuff, so... so. <laughs> Okay, then it does like a little on the drums. And then we go back into the Go back into that. Then we get to the breakdown. Just build these up. So, um, I would say there's two parts to the breakdown, but there really isn't. Like, you've got the build up before to send them to the slaughterhouse, um, which you're playing triplets. Um, then you've got the bit after it where he's doing the fat pig squeal it's, it stays within the same region but you've got a couple of extra notes so this is what you play before send them to the slaughterhouse you know when it's like building up to it okay send them to the slaughterhouse so we're going to go on just So it's just triples Five, four, uh, five, six, five, four Four, five, four, three All triplets Rhythm down. Okay, then once you get to that final, we just do that bit on the fourth time round. You're just going to stay on three. Okay. Listen to the kick pedal. That's the rhythm you want to follow. I can't get it in my head at the minute. I think it's that. The kick pedal's amazing in this man. Like it's 220 BBM, I think. Double bass on that. Woo! My friend could do it. I can't. Okay, so we got. Send them to the slaughterhouse. And like I said, we are going to stay within this region. Got a dissonance chord. Right, so that first bit. It doesn't actually change though. You stop a bit, but it doesn't change. So we're going to go. All alternate picking. Tremolo picking, rather. Or whatever it is, just put them to string them down really fast. Four, five, four, three. No. What the fuck? Four. Five, six, five, four. Three. Six on the A. And you alternate there. Okay. Yeah. And. Four, five, four, three. Same with three. This notes chord comes in, so we've got B, um, four on the B, eight on the G. If you're playing on a six string, all the top notes are the same. Dissonance chord on the six string is. It's been a while since I played it on a string. I'm pretty. Yeah. You're going to play 4 and 7. So 4 E, 7 B. Because your E goes down to your B, your B goes down to your G. Yeah. So 7 and 4 if you're on 6 string. You can play it on 6 string, I've done a cover of it. Don't think it's on here though, actually. But yeah. So that first bit. <laughs> Back into it. Alright, you'll hear it. You know what, let's play it. 
I'll hook this my speaker. Uh, I don't own any rights to this music that I'm about to play. I'm not doing any of this for profit. I will put my disclaimer in the um, in the description just so I don't get sued. Oh, 20 minute video. Oh, Jesus Christ, right. What are you doing? That's... Great job. Played it wrong. And that's how the song finishes. Pause that. Um, it doesn't actually hit the open at the end. I just do because I can't get to my, my volume fast enough. So hopefully all that made sense. I just really wanted to do a cover because um, it has been far too long. Not a cover tutorial. It's been far too long since I um, since I've done one. I like to have not had time. So I thought a quick and easy one would be a crania. Easy to teach. You know there are difficult parts of the song um, but thank you for watching um, keep an eye out for more I will be doing more, more tutorials um, but yeah man take it easy